Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here, and as I'm sure you're aware of by now, Donald Trump has ordered strikes in Syria, escalating U.S. involvement in this war that has gone on for years and been responsible for thousands upon thousands of deaths. And so I'm hosting an anti-war, pro-peace, pro-military civil disobedience protest on Monday at the White House. You can join me in front of the White House Monday at noon. We'll be there from noon to two. This protest itself is an act of civil disobedience. We will have no permit except for the First Amendment to the Constitution. And I have a message for Donald Trump here about war. Considering we have another chicken hawk president who never even served in the military, let alone saw combat. So Donald, I gotta tell you, in case you haven't figured it out yet, war is for losers. You're gonna lose. In fact, you're gonna lose so much, you're gonna be tired of losing. The American people are gonna lose. The Syrian people are gonna lose. You're going to lose in 2020 if you continue to go back on all of your campaign promises and all of your uh, stated alleged principles. The only people who benefit from war are the profiteers and corrupt politicians who uh, benefit from that along with the defense contractors who make the weapons and uh, the equipment that get used in war. This is a crime. War is a crime. And I don't mean just in the general sense, like, yeah, you're killing innocent people, but specifically, even under U.S. law right now, what Donald Trump is doing is criminal because he is going to war without a declaration of war from Congress, which is basically uh, a part of the Constitution uh, behind that that was originally intended to ensure that war was only used for defensive means. It has to be a declaration of war, as in there's an existing conflict, that is, that we have been attacked. And in this case, obviously, the American people have not been attacked. So this is illegal in a lot of ways. And the U.S. troops who are executing Trump's orders in Syria are criminals as well. And so this is a very important part of the message of this demonstration to call on members of the military to disobey illegal orders. Now, I can tell you from my personal experience, I'm an Iraq War veteran. I was in Fallujah in 2004 for the first battle, and I tortured people. I followed illegal orders. Please learn from my mistakes. This will haunt you for the rest of your life if you kill innocent people, knowing that legally you were supposed to disobey those illegal orders. So it's very important that people who are getting this message who are in the military understand that the American people have their back, that veterans have their backs, that we will support them for disobeying those unlawful orders, that they will be made into heroes for doing so. Now, I'm a member of uh, Iraq Veterans Against the War and Veterans for Peace, and I'm not doing this officially on behalf of those organizations, but simply as an individual member. And I've reached out to some of my contacts in those organizations and haven't heard back. Obviously, this is kind of a last minute thing because we want to have a quick reaction and an immediate response to this. So uh, I'm calling on especially Iraq Veterans Against the War and Veterans for Peace to please endorse and support this protest. And any veterans out there, combat veterans especially, please join me on Monday. I'm also a lifetime member of the Libertarian Party, and I'm calling on the Libertarian Party and uh, all Libertarians to endorse and support this event and to uh, help make it a success. So I hope you'll be there. I hope you'll support this. I hope you'll share this video, share the event page. We've got a Facebook event page that will be linked in the description below. So this is, a, this is a protest for peace and law. We are actually calling on uh, people to follow the Constitution, uh, members of the U.S. military to follow their oath, which is to the Constitution, and their actual obligation, which is to disobey illegal orders. So if you want to join me for this, if you want to endorse this event, uh, you know, for Code Pink, my old friends in Code Pink, uh, who... Um, you know, we're, we're waiting for a Republican president to take office to get back into the streets. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll support this. For the Answer Coalition, who's also doing good work around the country organizing protest events, uh, please, Answer Coalition, if you would endorse this and support it and help get the word out, I would greatly appreciate it. For all of the uh, so-called anti-interventionist conservative groups, it's okay. I know conservatives can go out and protest with the hippies too. We can stand together for peace. If you're disappointed with Trump because he's now revealed himself to be such a hypocrite, then please come out and join us, support us one way or another. You don't actually have to be there. But uh, I'm also calling on Alex Jones, who was uh, you know, a major player in the election of Donald Trump, who 
um, you know, should be big enough to his, admit his mistake and understand that this is not an anti-war president. So, Alex, if you could uh, get behind this, support this on your channels, we would greatly, greatly appreciate you having that integrity and the ability to uh, admit that you were wrong about Donald Trump. That would be huge. So... Uh, I'm going to have a bullhorn and a soapbox. This is not a major production, but I got to tell you, this bullhorn, it's going to be the best bullhorn ever. It's going to be the shiniest bullhorn ever. It's going to be so great. You're going to love it. It's going to be the clearest and the loudest bullhorn ever. I'm going to be standing on the best soapbox ever, all in honor of Donald Trump's criminality. So if you want to speak so people don't have to listen to me on the bullhorn for two hours, please send me an email, adam at thefreedomline.com. If you want to endorse or be listed on the event page as an endorser, please, again, email me, adam at thefreedomline.com. We're going to be live streaming this on uh, uh, either on the Facebook page or on my Facebook page or somewhere like that, but you'll see links um, to that as well so you can join us virtually. If you want to join us in a way... Uh, just in solidarity, there's a lot that you can do to help with this. We're going to have a minute of silence in respect for all the victims of the war in Syria at noon. So from noon to 12.01 Eastern Time, if you want to join us in that, we would appreciate that as well. And uh, you can help by sharing this video, sharing the event page, reaching out to media, both mainstream and independent, to get the word out. And of course, all members of Congress, I know we're, we're really forgiving of criminals here. Um, all members of Congress are invited to speak if they want to be on the record as standing against the war in Syria, the uh, actions of President Trump in uh, initiating strikes in Syria. So. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a, a part of this great human evolution towards a more peaceful and voluntary society. Thank you so much. Mwah. Peace and love. And I hope to see you in front of the White House on Monday.